Hi, I'm Carla Sylvester, Education Manager for Martha Stewart Crafts, and I'd like to show you the Martha Stewart Crafts Circle Cutter. This uh, tool comes with two pieces to it. We have a circular frame that surrounds a rotating plastic disc, and then we have our blade handle. The blade handle it has a soft comfort grip, which makes it really easy to hold. To change the blade, you want to grip the safety cover, and this safety cover was just recently redesigned so that it has this dime size handle, which makes it even easier to hold. And so you would hold that safety handle and then just pull the blade out. And you can see where the blade, a whole blade goes into the hole on the handle. So to uh, change the blade, you'll just put that right back in there. And then the safety cover comes off sideways. And if you look at it closely, you can see that there's an opening on one side of the safety cover. So you just pull that out and you're ready to go. I also want to show you one other neat feature of this handle. The top screws off and you can hold extra blades on the inside. So that's really nice. You can keep track of your blades that way. So to get started cutting a circle, I like to tape my paper down onto my Martha Stewart Craft self-healing mat. So I'm just going to tape down this last corner. And I'm using the double-sided tissue tape, but you could also use a non-stick or a low-tack tape, and that would actually probably be a, a really good way to go. Then I'm going to hold my circular frame down firmly in one hand and hold the blade in the other hand and pick my circle size. And this uh, rotating disc goes up to uh, five and a half inch diameter circles and the measurements are marked in, in um, eighteenths of an inch. So you can just put that blade inside one of those measurements and that flat blade needs to seat firmly inside the slot. Sometimes if you have trouble getting the blade inside one of those circles, you may have to give it just like a little wiggle till you can feel the blade make contact with the paper. But once it does, then you're ready to go. And because that blade fits so snugly in that slot, that's what gives us that really great circle. So I'm holding my frame down. I'm going to let my rotary, uh, my rotating disc there do the work for me. And now I have my circle. Now I'm not going to move my frame away just yet because I might want to make some concentric rings uh, to go on a project. So I'm going to now pick a larger side circle and cut another one. Just get that blade right down in there and again sometimes it just needs a little wiggle. And there we go. And let's do one more just for fun. Let's pick a smaller one. Okay, so now I'm going to move the tool away and we'll see those circles I just cut. So here's that first circle. And here's the second ring. And on the third one, I cut a really thin one because I want you to see just how fine a ring you can get with this tool. So there are my three circles. Now there are so many fun projects that you can make with circles. We love to use circles on our scrapbook pages and on cards. Um, something else I did recently, a friend of mine had a baby and I thought it would be fun to make a garland to welcome home the new baby. So I just cut myself a bunch of circles and spelled out the word welcome, cut that out. And then I actually used our ribbon threader punch on the tops of those circles to thread my ribbon through. The Martha Stewart Crafts Circle Cutter is, really works so great. I have used many circle cutters and this one is really among the best I've ever tried.